All right, so a few days ago, I stumbled across this video from Danny's Reviews where he's talking about stuttering issues on his 9800X3D. And then he also explains that in his case, the cause was MSI Afterburner, specifically the power usage and power percentage monitoring in MSI Afterburner. So I'll link the video in the description below, but he also does have some comments from Unwinder, who is the developer of MSI Afterburner. And uh, it, there's actually quite a few uh, decent points being made here, but I thought I'd test it for myself as well, just to see if, if even the 7800X3D has the same issue. All right, so one of the games that Danny's reviews showed us was Plague Tales Requiem, and I've got it running at the moment, and you can see that the frame time graph, it's got these little blips every second, right? And that makes sense because our polling rate is set to 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second. Now, if we stand still here, yeah, I'm going to refresh the numbers again. Just standing still, look at the 1% close and the 0.1% close. They drop quite a lot, right? So we went from, uh, I mean, we've got an average year of 176 frames per second, but our 0.1% lows are less than a third of that. So you can see every second these little blips come across. And if we then just do a normal benchmarker, I'm just going to run from here to the end of the gate. And you can see that there's quite a lot of stuttering The and you actually do feel it, right? So even though those micro blips are kind of like micro stutters, they there are quite a bit of stuttering as well or there is quite a bit of stuttering as well and you can definitely notice it when playing the game right especially on a high refresh rate monitor that i'm playing on at the moment so you can see our uh, average there is sitting at 181 and our one percent lows and 0.1 percent lows are sitting pretty low right so i'm going to just get back to the end of the the gate here turn around and then i'll just show you what we basically do and i want to show you another step as well so if we go back into msi afterburner i'm just going to move it to the well let's move it here you can see if we go to monitoring i do have a bunch of things that i do monitor right and the reason for that is if i click on detach here I do have historical data for everything. And for somebody like me that likes to do performance videos, these uh, statistics are actually very useful. But if they are causing stuttering, then they can also influence my benchmark runs, right? So if we go ahead and just disable, before we do that, I just wanna show you. If you right click here on this panel over here and you click show profiler panel, it'll actually show you the amount of milliseconds of CPU time each monitor or each sensor requires. This thing keeps on popping up and it's gonna leave the mouse there. So you can see power percent is using 15 milliseconds of CPU time to report the power percent in the monitoring tool. Now, if we, uh, there's other things as well, core clock, temp limit, that kind of stuff. So for me, it's not the power usage, the w display number in watt, which you can actually see in the middle of the screen there, which is named GPU power. That's not really my biggest concern. My biggest concern is power percent. So what we can do is we can just go to monitoring over here and we can actually just untick everything that we're not really that interested in. So I'm going to untick power percent and I'm just going to untick power as well, right? So if we then go back into our game here. All right, so now standing still, I'm just going to refresh the numbers. You can see that our frame time growth is extremely flat and uh, 1% lows and 0.1% lows are actually very, very close to our averages. Now, let's just do the same benchmark run. Previously, I think our 0.1% lows were in the 40s and our 1% lows were in the 80s, right? So you can see that there's definitely quite a big improvement, improvement already. So turning around here, yeah, no stuttering, and it's actually a very, very smooth uh, experience. This a very... Uh, very flat frame time graph and no stuttering whatsoever. So it is actually MSI Afterburner, not not necessarily MSI Afterburner itself, but just the monitoring portion of it, right? And it makes perfect sense, right? So let me just go back into MSI Afterburner just so that I can show you the, the usages at the moment. So currently core clock is... Uh, using 0 0.7 milliseconds of CPU time. And you can you can just have this open, right? If you do have a second monitor, that's basically what I do. I just leave it open so that I can see which monitor is causing which, well, which performance monitor or logging, monitor logging, whatever you call it, uh, is causing the, the stuttering, right? And uh, if you do find something that you don't need that's causing some stuttering, then you can just go ahead and disable it. All right, but that's basically all I wanted to show you today. 
if you do encounter some strange stuttering while using MSI Afterburner, do this option, right click, say show profiler panel, see which sensor is causing the, the issue for you and just go ahead and disable that and see if it is better. One thing that I did notice as well, that whilst MSI Afterburner is actually running in the background on screen, it can also cause some stuttering. So it's best to just uh, minimize it and that might also help in improving your frame times. All right, I only tested one game. I did see the same behavior in Cyberpunk 2077 as well. I did not see this behavior in Hogwarts Legacy like uh, shown in Danny video but uh, I mean it does seem to be system dependent one other thing I did test it on my Intel systems and uh, I did not see the same issue now all this the Intel systems that I tested with did have e-cores I tested on a 12700k and then a 14600k F and I did not disable the e-cores I just uh, did test it quite quickly but they did not exhibit the same issue even though they did use some cpu cycles for the monitoring as well yeah. do you think that the the e cores are just taking that uh, the brunt of that load and it's not affecting the p cores which are mainly used for gaming right i know nowadays games use all all cores whether it's p cores or e cores but i do think in a hybrid cpu environment it's not as impactful as it is on uh, something like a uh, the 7800X3D or the 9800X3D, which only has eight performance cores, if you want to call it like that, with no E cores. All right, I think that's going to be the end of this video. I just wanted to show you this quickly. If uh, just wanted to spread the word, maybe we can uh, reach more people if I also make a video. But be sure to check out Danny's uh, reviews video on it as well. I'll link it in the comments or the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And as always, we hope to see you in the next one.